Hello viewers and welcome to our latest series. This time we will be playing yet another uh, strategy game. This time it'll be uh, Patrician 4, which is a line of, um, well, they're essentially tycoon games uh, where you essentially command a fleet of ships and you trade on the open seas and eventually it becomes um, a little bit of a war game and a city tycoon kind of thing. So anyways, without further ado, let's just begin the campaign and set it up here so that we just have a, um, a pretty average build, which is going to be playing on the normal difficulty. And let's view the intro cutscene now. This is my Uncle Jacob Stromberg's diary. When I was a young boy, he used to show me the sketches and drawings it held. They were there to remind him of the exciting times he had had in his life as an aspiring trader in the Hanseatic League. It all began in the year 1361 in Lübeck. As a simple trader, he began to learn the basics of trading, such as how the price of a commodity is based upon market demand. He soon began to buy his goods where they were most abundant and delivered to remote towns the goods they requested. Yet he also risked the dangers of long sea voyages to do so. And so, his trading fleet grew from month to month. It was not long until the demand for his products was greater than the quantity of goods he was able to buy. His ships had to travel further and further. And so he began to build his own production facilities in Lübeck and in other cities which, thanks to the new jobs, the good product range and sufficient living space, soon became larger and larger. Now he has bequeathed me a part of his fortune. His experience will help me to one day be amongst not only the largest and most influential, but also the most popular merchants of the Hanseatic League, just like him. Yeah, the intro cutscene isn't very, uh, <laughs> very interesting. It's just kind of pretty basic. So anyways, I think there's one more little bit here before the game actually starts, where it essentially gives you the outline of the game. Um, I Welcome think I'll just skip to Lubeck. I am sure. Yeah, you, you be quiet. Um, so, this game came out like a few years ago. The problem with it at the time was that I think there were, it was a little buggy, and the intro video, like as you saw there inside the cutscene, it absolutely tells you nothing about how to play the game. And all that little video on the side does is tell you that uh, you essentially have to start off with one counting house and a, well, a single boat, right? So, um, kind of figured you might as well uh, buy this and play it, seeing as how I got it for like pretty cheap on the Steam summer sale, but unfortunately that's ending today, um, and chances are you won't be seeing it on the, uh, on today, which is I think the 21st of July. Anyways, uh, let's begin by uh, just kind of you know, playing the game. So we start off in the town of Lübeck. Uh, our uncle, from the looks of it, left, left us uh, 30,000 gold pieces, or florins is what I would assume that they've uh, used at this time. And we are essentially given uh, free reign on to setting up our little merchant fleets. So, starting off, we are, uh, well, let's go back into Lubeck. We start off here, and we have a counting house and a single cog, I believe. Yeah, which is this boat. It's actually a fleet. Yeah, there's a cog inside the fleet. So, um, well, we need to start doing some things. We need to start trading some goods, you know, go to the market hall. And we need to essentially buy and sell various different items here. Uh, first and foremost, we're just going to have to go over here and check out what exactly the city produces and what exactly it takes. So from the looks of it, uh, Lubeck produces a absolute ton of salt, which is um, here with the green arrow. We produce like 520 salt, and we actually only use about 14 units of salt. So that makes that a very, very good trade uh, good. And it looks like, uh, well, we take out, a, we use a lot of wood, we use a lot of food, which is wheat, and that looks like just about that. So what we can do is that we can actually get our fleet here, use the harbor crane to load up our convoy filled with uh, some salt, and as I move the slider over here, you'll see that the amount per unit of salt actually increases. But the smartest thing inside this, this game to do is to actually automate the majority of the trading, and what we're going to do is, uh, first and foremost, hire an administrator here inside Lubeck at our trading house, or counting house, 
Uh, he's like fairly cheap, it's like 50 gold per day, which is barely anything. And what we're going to get him to do is uh, we're going to get him to buy uh, really, really cheap salt. Because we produce some, uh, we, because we produce a lot of it, it looks like we'll be able to get salt for a fairly good price of, I would say, around 70 to 2 gold. So I'm going to get our uh, our administrator here to make deals on our behalf, and he's going, just going to buy us a absolute ton of salt. He's actually going to buy that much of that, and in addition, we're going to buy some hemp. And hemp is uh, what well, used to be used to make like a lot of things, like like paper and hemp jeans and things like hemp ropes on it, stuff like that, I'm not quite sure. But um, since like uh, I think like the female version of hemp is like marijuana, apparently they uh, banned it in most places, at least where I live. It's a shame though, it'd be a really great thing to just have around. So anyways, uh, we have one set of, um, one part of the process done. So right now we're going to be buying some uh, hemp and some salt, uh, simply because I remember that Lubeck, yeah, Lubeck does produce a lot of those two things. Now all we need to do is find a city to sell in, because I played a test game, I know that Stockholm should be a very, very good place to offload salt and hemp, so we'll go up there. You'll see that uh, next to the little city names, there's a little icon showing what they're short in. It looks like hemp is indeed in demand in Stockholm, so we're just going to go there. Because we don't have a counting house nor a representative there, we have to go there with our tr uh, little convoy of ships before we can actually look at the detailed list of stuff that they have uh, there. So as you can see, hemp here is in demand, salt here is in demand, so uh, with those two things set and done, we're just going to go back to Lubeck, or actually let's go um, along the way back to Lubeck and essentially check out the prices there. Essentially what we're going to do is at first we're going to set up a little uh, trade navy of sorts where we're just going to use our ships to buy and sell various different goods, apparently they produce a lot of cheese here, might uh, use that later on. Uh, we're just going to go here and here, you know, set up a few trade routes first, expand our fleet, and then we're essentially going to go into these towns and uh, influence these towns. And what I mean by that is, when they produce a lot of uh, wool and a lot of bricks here, what I mean by um, influencing the towns is that you may have noticed that the towns are actually fairly small, and on the map here we actually have quite a lot of just essentially open countryside um, outside of the city walls and whatnot that we can actually utilize for our own purposes. And, well, as soon as we get to go back to Lubeck here, you'll see here there's quite a few buildings here, as ex aside from the county house and the markets and whatnot. We have the city hall where we can uh, essentially try to become mayor of the city, which will give us a few different things uh, to do. But one of the more important things is that there is a guild, a merchant's guild, uh, for the Hanazetic League. And here we are allowed to uh, essentially buy privileges, which will allow us to do various different things inside various different uh, cities. But anyways, that's all for later. Right now, let's set up our first trade route. So, in the meantime, as you can see here, uh, while we were sailing around, we were able to accumulate a fair amount of goods. And all we're going to be doing is uh, stacking those goods onto the boat. And it looks like, uh, well, we've already used up the 30 grand that our uncle left us. And hopefully, uh, when we come back, we'll actually be able to make up all of that money. So, let's get our little boat here. It looks like uh, we're going to earn, need to earn about 35k to get to the next rank, and that's essentially what this blue bar here tells us. And this uh, ranking system is a, it's a sort of an arbitrary ranking measure. It simply is there to just essentially measure your progress inside the game. So anyways, we're going to come in here, uh, back into the Stockholm, I think, yeah. And, well, this is the amount of stuff that we have here in uh, this column, the left one, and the price is looked at here. So it looks like we bought a whole bunch of salt for 40 gold, and we have 75 units of uh, that, well, sorry, hemp. Uh, for salt, we have 377 units bought at 69 gold per piece. And because the city uses a lot of it, we can actually sell all of it for what I would assume, assume to be, yeah, this 109. So we're going to sell all of that, and we're going to sell a lot of the hemp to unload our ship. Completely. Well done. You have sold your first goods. Mm -hmm. 
and that's essentially going to make us a profit of about 10,000 gold pieces and that'll uh, essentially give us the first rank up. So, um, for now, we're just going to do that. We're just going to do another uh, troop, another uh, little convoy here and there. And, well, let's see uh, what else we can get. Yeah, so just go back here into this tab, fill our ship with the two goods, and sail it back over there. So the first portion of the little uh, game here is mainly just going to be set separating our work, setting up our trade network. So from Lübeck, we have a counting house which allows us to see the marketplace immediately. However, we don't have one at Stockholm. Uh, one of the better things that we can do at Stockholm is that you might have noticed that whenever I sell um, something, the like whenever I sell a lot of something, the price per unit actually goes down. So if we have a counting house in Stockholm, we can set up prices so that it'll be like, say I have a lot of uh, salt, but it will, yeah, as you can see here, if I just move the bar slightly over here, salt suddenly becomes a lot less profitable than selling it over here, uh, where we don't sell as much and keep the scarcity high, uh, what we can do is I get a counting house and get the counting house to gradually sell everything, making our, uh, you know, little bit of salt go a little bit further in terms of price per unit. Yeah, so that's kind of that. Well, um, now that we've kind of got our first little lane set up here, I'm actually going to go back into Stockholm and I'm going to see what else this place produces. So they also produce a little bit of hemp, but they don't sell very much of it. But they have, uh, what is this as an occupancy? They have a lot of this stock fish and mead that we can probably take off of them. So come to mind, we could probably, uh, yeah, just buy some of that and take it back to sell with us. So actually, uh, we can also buy some of these raw metal bricks and sell them back here. So yeah, we could buy some bricks and sell them there. We can buy some mead, definitely. And actually, everything from Stockholm, all of these uh, Stockholm producers are actually pretty good for us. So let's buy some of these uh, bricks. Let's buy some of their mead. Actually, their mead is fairly expensive. They don't have a lot of mead, maybe another trader uh, picked up the majority of it, but it looks like they have a ton of fish that they're willing to part off with. So we're just going to get all of those goods and we're going to sail that back to Lubeck. And that's essentially just going to get the first little bit of the, uh, the game set up for us here. Um, this game has... Uh, this game is going to have a lot of downtime simply because uh, there's going to be parts of it where it's essentially just going to be trading right after all. Uh, that's essentially the bulk of the game, um, at least for now. It's just going to be moving goods here and there. Uh, with that said, I'm going to um, I'm going to do like smaller parts of gameplay, so essentially like maybe 15 minutes uh, and essentially go from there simply because yeah, there's going to be a lot of downtime. Um, now that we have our first little lane set up here, bear in mind that the only reason Stockholm uses quite a lot of uh, salt is because to, in order to produce stockfish, uh, let me get a little pop up here. Okay. Um, it looks like we're actually going to have to go there to uh, maybe put it up. Maybe if I go back here, if I pull up um, stockfish somehow. <laughs> I can't pull it up. Anyways, uh, in order to make fish, you're going to use a lot of salt, and because it uses a lot of salt here, we can actually use all of these salters inside uh, Lubeck here to really uh, amp up their little settlement right there. In the process of doing this, we can uh, also go and do something to fund Lubeck. So, we can... Uh, automate all of the trade here and how I plan on doing the automated trade system is that we're just going to effectively make little round chains of uh, goods being sold. So uh, Stockholm obviously takes the vast majority of our salt here and I believe uh, Oslo over here actually produces a lot of wood so we can set up a little network of going from Oslo, yeah, they produce uh, wood here, and I believe they produce a lot of it, and essentially ship that to Lubeck, where it gets refined into salt and other stuff. 
they need a lot of wood. And that is going to be sent over here now to start off. Uh, let's see, one of the things that we uh, have to kind of manage is the trader's reputation here. Uh, for trader, trader titles. So right now, uh, we are going to need 55k of gold to advance to the next title, and we're going to need one ship. I bid you a most hearty welcome to my beautiful city. Uh, as long as you behave and keep your nose out of my business, I'm sure we will get along splendidly. So this is essentially the um, the trader mechanics inside the game. Uh, you can actually run for office inside this game, inside the various different towns, um, in terms of like, you know, uh, mayor of the town as well as guild master. So we can do that, uh, we can compete with the various different people here. But right now, obviously, we uh, we don't really have the amount of reputation here, which is at 50-25%, nor the, uh, the funds to do so, so we won't. So, um, let's see. From Lubeck, let's just do another salt run. Um, and really go from there. So, I believe we are, yeah, we're constantly stockpiling a lot of resources here. In Stockholm, later on, we should be able to have enough, um, money to be able to make some donations to the chapel. Which should be able to allow us to buy a, uh, a guild's membership. So coming here into Stockholm, uh, let's go back to the harbor crate. We're going to sell all of this uh, salt once again, or at least the majority of it. Let's see how far we can push this before uh, we run into some trouble with the uh, availability. Yeah, now it looks like we're pushing the availability up too high. So you see here that there's this little uh, three red dot where one green and three red little diamond uh, meter here and that's just the availability of such a good. So right now we've essentially overfilled Stockholm with uh, salt. They have 900 some units, they only use, uh, see how much they use, they use 200 and uh, 236 units so they are pretty much good for the next 10 days. With that said, uh, we are going to set up a bit of a longer term um, thing here Oh, actually, we're going to do that a little later on, simply because we do need to get our uh, next trader level, which will be a uh, wholesaler, and that's going to come when we have the right amount of profit made, and as well as another ship. So, uh, with that said, let's come up here, and let's uh, first and foremost take a look at the shipyard, because we do need another ship, and the cheapest one is the Sinaka which is essentially just a really little fast trading vessel. It carries less than the cog, but it's not as slow, so um, in the event that pirates come, it should be uh, able to just kind of run away. We're going to buy one of them simply because we need to make the, uh, the or meet the agreements here with the uh, little thing here. Uh, what's it called? The trader rank thing. So we're just going to kind of leave it at that, and in the meantime, while that's happening, we're going to load our ship up with some hemp and some other goods, and let's see if we can find another place to sell off our places that's not Stockholm. So, uh, it looks like Rostov here doesn't actually take out very much, so let's go through Melmo. Melmo, not uh, that and take a look at what they use. And they don't use a lot of salt either, but they are producing a lot of cheese and they do use a lot of uh, various other goods in small quantities. Um, so this is obviously the fourth, fourth game inside the series, and I believe the earlier ones you could actually found settlements such as Oslo, Stockholm, and uh, Malmö... Mel Malmö? I know the little O with like two da uh, with the little two uh, dots on top is supposed to be pretty pronounced pronounced uh, slightly differently. Oh, this bee actually over here does have a little bit of uh, does have a little bit of hemp, but unfortunately we aren't able to afford it. So let's just get rid of all of these things and go right back to Lubeck. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the first little bit of the game here. It's mainly just going to be trading. I will sign off here, actually, and when we come back, we will be taking a look at the automated mechanics, and hopefully we'll be able to set up a 
play Luke Between, Lubeck and Stockholm. So, see you guys then.